my computer is completely out of hard drive space. So. Your consent to film? <laughs> yes. You have permission to film. <gasps> oh! I should probably time lapse this. Yeah. Terminal 1 for United, United International, and Lufthansa. Then we go to Terminal 2 for Delta and Air Canada. After that, Terminal 3 for American, American International, Alaska, Iberia, Air Berlin, JAL, JetBlue, Spirit, Frontier, and Virgin America. in Prague at the apartment. I'm really tired. I haven't slept for probably 24 hours. It's about noon here. I left at 10 a.m. Uh, Wisconsin time. It's called Bread Gap. It has crustless bread that's baked without a crust. And then they fill the gap with stuff. A lot of people come to see this clock. Yeah! I'm from Ukraine. Okay. And you're? Uh, Los Angeles. Los Angeles, huh? Mm -hmm. You flew across the world. Almost. <laughs> The sound of this camera has been kind of weird. This is wind, uh, wind noise reduction on. This is wind noise reduction off. Better? Hopefully. So I went up the street and rented a bike. Um, I'm going to go for a little ride maybe along the river and uh, check out the things I haven't seen on foot. <laughs> little coffee shopping mission. So the apartment comes with this. Yeah, little coffee maker thing. And the coffee shops here only open around like earliest nine o'clock. And I usually get up a lot earlier than that. So coffee shop, Chris Hare, Prague edition. I went and got all the things I needed. Breaking down the coffee setup. Most important thing, beans. This one comes in a box. It's called Rusty Nails. Oh, it smells good. Second most important thing is a burr grinder. You can get them electric, but they're more expensive and bigger. This is good for travel. And it just snaps on like that. And you grind your coffee. Third is the brew method. In this case, the Hario V60, it's just a ceramic cone. This one's red, you can get them in white. 
Fourth are the filters. Can't really go wrong with these paper filters, one time use. Fifth is the kettle. Pretty simple, little lid. But the special part is this gooseneck spout. Lastly, not super important, but kind of handy, is a carafe. Just something to put your cone on for the coffee to go into so you can both see it and with a lot of coffee mugs you'll actually fill it up too soon and then you know you'll be stuck with an overfilled cup so that's all you really need to make some good coffee the one other thing i would get if i could would be a scale a digital scale so you weigh everything out and you time how much water goes in uh, relative to how many grounds you have because with this you really can't get an accurate measurement of how much coffee you're putting in but this will get you a pretty decent cup so I just had an idea oh, man, the strobing in here is terrible um, so the way this room is organized it's like <coughs> kitchens here right it's like a mini living room here and the bedrooms over there the TV, you can kind of watch from the bed, but it would be better if you could watch from the couch. So what I'm going to do is a little reorganization. I think, I think it'll work. I think it might be too crowded. But it's more functional. You can sit on the couch, watch TV, or just spin this and watch from bed. So, hmm. Even better, I think table should go here. Dryer rack goes in there. And there won't be a kitchen table, but, but that's fine because like this whole room is the size of a normal kitchen, so I can just walk to the table. All that organizing, reorganizing, made me hungry. Do this ham, butter, bread, basic meal. pretty good. This morning when I got up, I instead of what I usually do is I immediately grab my phone and turn it on and see if I have any emails or texts or anything. But this morning, I didn't touch the phones or the computer. I made coffee, I read some of my book, I gotta say it's been a very productive morning. I think the phone thing, you know, it just distracts you right away. So you don't have any time to think about the day or what you gotta do or you know, other things that you could be doing other than being on your phone. So I'm going to try to do that every morning and just wake up like when phones di didn't exist and you just had to, you know, wake up and start your day, not wake up and check Facebook. So new goal, no phones for like an hour when I wake up. That should be reasonable. <laughs>